Is that an eel? A sea snake? It's neither, but it sure is cool what it is in this FinCast. The first time I saw this fish, I was like, what is that? Even when I owned my fish store, I had never seen one, and I ordered fish almost every week. I don't ever remember seeing one on the list, but that's what it is. It's a hair fin eel blenny. It's like most blennies you've ever seen, just a whole lot longer. It is, it is a bit unusual. Um, it's called a hair fin eel blenny. It is actually a blenny, although it looks a lot like an eel. It's got a high dorsal fin that runs the entire length of the fish, which every now and then they'll throw up. It has some blue markings and little eye, false eye spots in it. It's a very, very cool fish. Barry says these fish are just about full size and they're surprisingly easy to keep if you have an established reef or fish only marine aquarium. It is reef safe. It is, however, a little bit aggressive toward each other, especially in other blennies um, and some smaller fish. It can get a little bit aggressive, it, um, especially at feeding time. It would very likely bother a small shrimp if it was considered food, but it's not going to bother any of the larger shrimp. One bit of caution, that fish, like an eel or other blennies, likes the security of the rocks, so you may not see it all the time. It hides a lot, except at feeding time they come out, um, and you'll see them come out and kind of flash their fins and show off a little bit, but typically, like a pretty much any other blenny, they tend to find a nook or cranny to hang out in. I wasn't the only one to notice these blennies at the 2015 Global Pet Expo. In fact, just about everybody who came by stopped and took a picture. Uh, just a really, really cool fish. Been very popular here at the show. Um, it's unusual and they've been well photographed here the past couple of days. It's a rare fish that's not readily available. You probably can't even special order it and when you can, it would be between $100 and $200. Um, we've had them over the past several years occasionally. It's not something that's readily available. Um, it's probably a, ha a habitat thing where they're found is not necessarily likely where divers may go all the time. I hope you like this species spotlight. And remember, our hobby has its tentacles in all the oceans, lakes, and rivers all around the world. So you might want to take a look at my playlist that kind of looks at conservation, a lot of the things that happen regarding fish outside of our aquarium. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next FinCast.